The Scarlet Knights are charged up and ready for battle as they approach their 2016 regular season. Captain Scott Pita is excited to lead his team to victory. My goals for a team this season is just to come out here and practice uh, every day working our hardest. Um, there's nothing more we can ask for that. I think winning games and Big Ten championships and like that, yeah, that's our ending goal, but each day we have to get better out here. And if we do that, those goals in the end will come. I think our biggest strengths uh, offensively is that we have a bunch of guys that can score. We don't have uh, you know, one or two guys that we're mainly going to. We run a, an offense that everyone should be touching the ball, and on a good day, everyone's scoring, not just one person. So I think that's what makes us a great offense and a strong team. It's hard to replace an All-American who's uh, won 70% of his face-offs that he's taken. So uh, I do think we have two guys right now that have uh, worked awful hard in the offseason and uh, trained with Nardella last year. Uh, you know, Joe Francisco and Alex Schoen have been competing every day in practice, and you know, certainly uh, we're going to lean on them to you know, fill in for the time and, and all the success that Nardella had. We really emphasize finishing every drill. You know, if you see our practices, we have a shot clock. And, you know, the last five seconds and whatever drill we're doing, we want to make sure that we finish strong. And I think that uh, if we continue to do that when it comes down to game time, um, those little things will matter. And uh, you'll see us on the other side of the scoreboard this year. Zach Sakura has been one of the hardest workers uh, in the classroom and, uh, and obviously uh, you know, uh, on the field for us. He was a 4.0 student last year as a junior, making all Big Ten honors. Uh, and uh, someone who's come into the program as an offensive midfielder, a defensive midfielder, and then uh, you know, being a starting long stick for us the last two years. Uh, we're, we're excited with uh, everything he brings defensively you know, and uh, obviously in the transition game uh, for the upcoming season. Scott Beat has been a four-year starter for us, uh, all Big East, all Big Ten. Uh, certainly been the glue of the offense. Uh, cerebrally, he's uh, been the quarterback uh, on the attack, and, uh, and certainly uh, you know, we're going we're gonna to go as far as he can carry us. And, uh, I do think he has a lot of pieces around him this year, and I think it's uh, it's fun to watch uh, the guys that he has uh, to the left and to the right of him that complement his skill set and his leadership ability. It's uh, definitely awesome to know you have something after, but uh, you know I'm still just out here playing with my best friends. Try not to think about it, and honestly, I don't. Us as seniors, uh, we really want to go out on top. The men's lacrosse team has a full lineup this season, and they are eager to get started. First up, St. John's on February 13th at High Point Solutions Stadium. Reporting for Our Vision, I'm Samantha York.